Hi guys, and welcome to another edition of Zupo's SEO Talk and Tea. Today's conversation is what is a redirect chain and how do you fix it? This is an important conversation for SEO because usually as your site gets bigger and as it gets you know more mature over the years, uh, what can happen is that you can change URLs and everything and uh, redirect chains can be uh, unintentionally implemented and they can negatively affect your SEO. So for today's video, we're gonna be talking about that. But before we jump on in, of course, this is a Zupo's SEO Talk and tea. So we want to introduce the tea today. We have a jasmine green tea from Black and Bold. It's a uh, tea that has appeared on this channel before. It is a tea that my housemate ordered and 5% uh, of the proceeds from each sale goes to um, domestic disadvantaged domestic tea. And so today I have the jasmine green tea because um, it's always a really nice soothing tea. Jasmine green tea is your You've probably had it before if you ever had a boba drink. A lot of boba stores have jasmine green tea. So let's go ahead and get brewing and then get started talking about redirect chains. So what is a redirect chain? Um, a redirect chain, to be honest, is pretty simple. Uh, you have to know what a 301 redirect is or just and most importantly, you just need to know what a redirect is. But usually it's a 301 redirect. A 301 redirect is a uh, code you can implement on uh, your site that tells uh, Google, hey, this URL it, uh, it is now moved over here. So a common example is if you have a uh, URL called uh, www.sample.com slash pizza, and you wanted to change it to pizza pie for some reason, then you would uh, make a new page called pizza-pie. You would uh, essentially redirect the old slash pizza page to the new pizza pie page. And what that would functionally do is everyone who tries to navigate to that old pizza page, the slash pizza, would be redirected or moved to the pizza pie page. So it's a way to tell Google this URL, uh, what used to be here, uh, you know, please redirect people to another place. So uh, the most easiest metaphor I can explain that is if you're like at a museum or something like that, and there's an exhibit. They're, if they say like, oh, this exhibit has moved to a different hall, uh, that's essentially what a redirect is, the SEO purposes. Now, how this uh, uh, involves redirect chains is what a redirect chain does is when, as your site gets bigger, let's say you um, you, you had pizza.com, um, you, you had sample.com slash pizza, I mean. So again, you had sample.com slash pizza. You 301'd it to sample.com slash pizza dash pie. And let's say later on you decide, you know what, I'm going to move the uh, the pizza dash pie page to a different page now. So it's sample.com slash uh, pie. And then mm, four or five months later, you redesign it again and, for, and you want to change the URL to um, za, pizza, uh, sample.com slash za, Z A. That's considered what we call a redirect chain because you have the original URL redirecting to the second one, which redirects to the third one, which redirects to the fourth one. Um, it, it, all actual practicality, you don't need that many redirects. You could probably just have the original sample.com slash pizza be directly related, um, di directly redirected to the uh, current iteration, which would be sample.com slash za. And so that way it doesn't need to go through four URLs. And so the reason why this becomes so large is because, yes, the sample is easy, but as your site gets bigger, redirects can start like piling on themselves and you can start having like pages that redirect four times, five times. And you have to remember when you have pages, you'll often link to them on your navigation, you'll, not, you'll link to them in your blog. And if you're not careful, you can remember to update the, the URLs on some pages, but you forget to update the internal links. And so before you know it, you still have some pages on your blog that link to the original sample.com slash pizza that now just have to take the four step redirect to the final page. And that can be quite excessive for Google to have to deal with because they have to crawl uh, so many times. So the reason why uh, redirect chains are not the greatest thing is because not only does the Google Crawlers have to figure out this redirect chain, which just and it, it pretty much just sucks energy out of their their side because they have to go through so many redirect chains to go to every page. Redirect chains can also slow down your website. So uh, the more redirects you have, that means that every time someone uses goes to a page, if they have to go through that four to five loop, they, that that web browser has to go one, two, three, four, five, or before they ever get to that page. Therefore, it can uh, slow down the, uh, the the speed of the site for when the user is using it, and it just becomes functionally hard to use. And so. When you're using site, the thing you want to avoid is you just don't want to have too many redirect chains because then your site can come really bloated and just really slow. So how you fix them 
is instead of having the redirect chain go through four instances, you would just have every uh, that old URL go straight to the new URL. Just cut the other three out. So sample.com slash pizza should be redirected to sample.com slash za. Now you might be asking, what about those other three URLs? Same thing there. If uh, you have sample.com slash pizza dash pi, break that redirect chain again and have that URL directly uh, linked to the sample.com slash za. That way every redirect is only one loop, not w- not a huge chain. So that's it's a pretty easy fix. The only thing that's difficult about redirect chains though is that when you have a site that comes bigger and bigger, you have 10,000 pages, 100,000 pages, uh, redirect chains are many. They're, they're like, they'll come out of nowhere and you have to like, comb through your website to find them. There are a lot of great tools to help you find these kind of things, like uh, Screaming Frog or Sitebulb. I believe Sitebulb has a free trial. So you can, if you want to use Sitebulb, you can use a free trial. I personally use Screaming Frog, but they're, they're both great tools. And those are the ways that you can es- essentially identify redirect chains and then fix them. So again, in summary, though, simplistically, you just don't want to have redirects in like a five-step process. You, you usually want redirects to be one-to-one. So the old URL to the new URL. You don't want to redirect to another URL that redirects to another URL that redirects to another URL. That's what we call a redirect chain. You want to avoid those. So again, hopefully that helps you guys understand what redirect chains and how you know they affect SEO and how to fix them. I'm going to go ahead and start pouring out my tea. If you guys enjoyed the video today, please like and subscribe. I'm going to go ahead and enjoy my tea, and I hope to see you guys again soon. Thanks, everybody.